Okay, so uh, that's pretty much us. Flip over onto the arrange page. Uh, I want to make this a little bit bigger so that we can see the whole thing. As you can see it's all arranged uh, properly in its order. Um, we have everything pretty much there. As you can see it's got all the MIDI tracks for the actual uh, drums itself. Um, all of the resultant audio from the different files that we've used then from there. And basically what we do now is we just go and record it on down um, to a uh, WAV file. I'll show you how to do that now. We go up the file and go to render the disk. Here we're left with a load of options here. Um, it's going to record the whole thing for us there. Um, we've left it to normalize because we want it as big as possible when we get out there. And we're not going to render it as a loop. Um, because we want to keep it sort of um, straight edged uh, so that rendering it as a loop really will just give us an analysis file that we can use at a later date to see if it's having to warp it again but we're only going to really use this for this tutorial so we'll just go from there you then have the file type that you want to use um, you can go out wave file or wave file um, depending on which system you're using um, the, obviously the bit depth and the uh, sample rate that you want to be going at we're just going to keep it for CD master here really we're going to take off the convert to mono because we want to keep it as a stereo file. And we'll create the analysis file just for um, separate use and we'll click OK. It just gives us a chance then to save this from there. And we'll just save that down into our project folder. Basically from there Ableton Live will go ahead and produce that as a, a normal WAV file uh, for use at a later date. Uh, that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, thanks very much for uh, tuning in to the, the different versions, the different things that we've had to do in relation to Beatbox. I'm quite happy with the way that it went. Obviously we can get a lot more um, intricate if need be. I've just done it as easy as possible. I just want to give you an idea of how you can use Live to create sounds as well as, um, as make arrangements in from there. I um, haven't made up my mind what the next one's going to be, um, so once I've got a new one up, I'll uh, make sure that everybody knows about it, and um, we'll go on from there. Thanks very much for uh, tuning in.